Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in eternal strengths. This guide will focus on fixing your FPS drops, lags and stutter so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're here, go down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar runs overlays on your game which is consuming your CPU and RAM resources continuously. Disabling game bar will certainly help you to reduce all that. After that, get back to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to improve your PC's performance as well. Right beneath that, click on the graphics settings and then click on change default graphic settings right over here. Enable hardware accident GPU scheduling as well as optimize server load games. This will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game as well as reduce your input and render latency. Once it is done, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go to the download location of your game. Here you have to find your Eternal Strands folder, head over to Eternal Strands, Binaries, Win64 and then you will find Eternal Strands Steam, Win64Shipping.exe. Click on the add button over here and that should be added. Once you guys see it right over here, head over to its options and then select high performance. Then click on save. This will make sure that it utilizes the maximum performance possible for this game. Once you're done with that, simply close your settings. Next step is heading to the download location and doing the compatibility settings. Once you're here, go down to Eternal Strands, Eternal Strands, Binaries, Win64 and you'll find the Win64 shipping right over here. Right click on that and then go over to Properties. Head over to Compatibility and then click on Disable Full Screen Optimizations. This will help you to fix your input latency a bit. Then click on Change High DPI Settings and then click on this option right over here. Click on OK and then click on Apply. Once it's done, simply close it and close this. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're here in the visual effects section, click on custom and then only enable save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. These four options will help you to maintain the basic and minimal look of your windows intact while disabling all unnecessary animations which put loads on your PC. Once it is done, the next step is heading over to the advanced tab and then setting up your virtual memory. Click on the change button over here and then deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Then find your local disk C and make sure that it is select. For custom size, set this thing to 1361 and for the maximum size, you have to open up your calculator right over here. Now what you have to do is multiply your RAM that is 32 GB for me with with 1024. This will give you your RAM in megabytes. Divide this value by 2 and the new value should be pasted in the maximum size. This will help you to correctly set up your virtual memory. It will be used when your RAM is completely utilized and your PC will be able to use your hard disk efficiently. Click on set, click on ok and then close performance options. Next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point right over here and then look for local disk C. Click on create and name it eternal disk you can remember. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the eternal strengths FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find in six simple folders right over here. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority. In here, I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. So if you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. These registries will 
help you to set up your CPU default values correctly, which will help you to optimize the performance of your processor. Once that is done, head over to the second folder, which is RAM optimization, and it basically does the same thing but for your RAM. I have 32 GB RAM on my PC, so I need to run this registry. Once again, I have left a ton of presets according to the configuration of your PC. Once again, if that doesn't work out well and you want to reset these values again, you can head over to the reset to default and set it back again. Third folder is the eternal strands priority in which I have left above normal, high and normal priority. I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth folder is disabling unwanted services. Over here, I have left 10 of these registries which will help you to disable unwanted and unnecessary services which are consuming your CPUs and GPUs resources in the background. If you use any Bluetooth devices or any printers, I would request you guys to leave these two services intact and other than that, disable every single one of these registries. It is amazingly useful for your games. Once again, if you change your mind and you want to reset any of them back to default, head over to the revert folder and then re-enable them again. Fifth folder is the batch tweaks which is really important for your input delay and your CPU's performance. Let's start with the first one that is the BCD tweaks. If you edit that in notepad, you guys can see that it it applies these three commands on your PC automatically, which will help you to improve your input latency. Second one is disabling memory compression and it will help you to disable memory compression off of your PC. This is not a very useful process and in most cases, it is consuming a lot of RAM usage and CPU usage in the background and it is highly advised that you keep it disabled. So you can disable it by running it as administrator and once again, if you want to change it back again or it is giving you any kind of performance issues, you can open it up in notepad and change this disable to enable and this will help you to re-enable that again with the same process. The final one is disabling process mitigation and it will help you to run this command prompt on your PowerShell. You have to right click and run this as administrator to make sure that it applies correctly and this will help you to improve your CPU's performance as well. Last one is the useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files which you can right click and run this as administrator. It will politely ask you to clean all temporary files off of your PC and you can press any key to start deleting all of them. It is highly advisable that you keep deleting your temporary files every now and then. Next folder is the MSI mode utility 3.0 you wanna have to right click and run this as administrator again and once it opens up you wanna have to look for your graphic card click on the msi button next to it and for the intro priority you gonna have to set it to high this will ensure that your graphic card is on the higher priority list to maintain the interrupts running perfectly this will help you to optimize the performance of your gpu and ultimately giving you better fps once you're done with that, simply close your FPS pack. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and this will open up Task Manager. Once you are here, go down to Startup Apps and try disabling as many applications as you can because these are the applications which starts right after the boot of your PC. The more applications you guys have enabled right over here, the more booting time your PC will take and the higher number of processes will be running in the background. So it is highly advisable that you guys disable as as many applications as you can and only keep the ones enabled which you guys use frequently like spotify skype discord i don't use them right after the boot of my pc so i have kept them disabled to disable that you can simply right click and then click on the disable button right over here and that should be it next step is looking for system configuration so simply search for system configuration on your pc and once you're over here go down to the boot settings click on advanced options then select number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available over here click on OK, click on apply and once that is done, restart your PC once and now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright guys, once you're in the game, press your escape key and then head down to options. Then you wanna have to go over to the graphics tab over here and make sure that your window mode is always set to full screen. Your resolution should be your native monitor resolution and the frame rate limit should be uncapped. VSync should be turned off and quality presets should be set to custom. For camera settings, post processing should be set to low, depth of field should be set to off. Of brightness I have gone with the default settings FOV 101 or 100 would be fine for you all Nvidia DLSS go with off or AMD FSR go with off as well it adds up input latency and it does not really help you to improve your FPS a lot Nvidia reflex low latency go with on plus boost if that is available for you anti-aliasing method go with TAA and for the anti-aliasing quality go with low 
Screen percentage is by default set to 50, but you guys can set it down to 40 or 35 and that will help you to improve your FPS drastically. Global illumination quality, low. Model quality, medium. Shadow and reflection quality, low. Texture and material quality, medium. Foliage quality, low. Volumetric effects quality, low. And particle effect quality, low. Once all of that is done, press your escape key, head down to the games. And now you guys can see that the game is a little bit blocky. If you find that issue, head over to options once again and then go down to graphics scroll down and you're gonna have to set this screen percentage up to 40% or 45% that is what I prefer this will help you to maintain the basic look of your game without any kind of performance issues as you guys can see I am getting a consistent 80 frames plus and it hits 90 frames as well so that is it for this video guys I hope I could have helped you out if I could have made sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me grow the channel we are really close to 50,000 subscribers and I believe in you all we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out